loves welcome back to our channel it's Olua Kemi at the solar here again and today we're going to be talking about 15 types of men that women should totally avoid by all means necessary if you like this kind of content or you love my face please click on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and of course interact with me in the comment section you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarated underscore types of men that women should totally avoid the very first one I call them mr. avoidant this type of men they avoid every question there is a way they divert questions that makes them just stay on the surface with you then they never discuss the deep things the things that the things that really matters they never discuss it with you and they just know how to divert how to make their way out of that conversation um for instance you're like oh babe tell me about your childhood tell me how you grew up the kind of background you you're from and they'll just go ah yeah i have two brothers i have a sister i grew up with my father and my mother those are basics those are things they find it easy to talk about but what i really want to hear is how did you grow up what kind of relationship do you have with your siblings what kind of relationship do you have with your parents how did your parents treat you and your siblings were you the kind of kids that um your parents gave total and abundance attention were you always able to talk to your parents about every and anything that is what we want to know not you just staying on the surface yeah you have to brother fine everybody that grew up with you will probably know that but i want to know the deep things i want to know the things that you cannot share with everybody that is why i am your partner and also we have mr emotional these are the kind of guys that they feel they can they can get their way out of anything out of any situation with you by being emotional okay your guy cheated on you and let's talk about it what happened how did you and then he goes he starts crying and he goes oh yeah it was a mistake it was this then the next time he does the same thing he doesn't give you attention let's talk about it, it just brings out it just spurs so much of emotions out and he, he already knows that is your weak point and that will make you believe whatever he says more by him being emotional so he uses that as a weapon all the time every conversation every argument he gets emotional and you go oh yeah he started crying so i had to believe him and all of that no avoid this kind of men they are very very manipulative in i'm not saying there's anything wrong with a man being emotional anybody can be emotional being emotional is not gender specific but when he weaponizes it that is when it is wrong so my dear sisters my girls avoid this kind of men another type of men that we should avoid are mr we are not together you know sometimes we get ourselves into a kind of situation where we know that oh the guy asks somebody but he tells you when, whenever you ask him he tells you stuff like uh we're no longer talking she just calls me once in a while to check up on me why is your ex checking up on you oh we are divorced uh but she calls me to know how i am doing how is that still a business there is always something still there there is still a kind of emotional attachment between both of them and sometimes these guys will tell us stuff like um oh we we're no longer in a relationship we're just friends and all of that now there is nothing wrong with your partner being friends with their ex but there should be a limit to everything because sometimes they still have something going on with these exes and when you complain like uh what's going on they tell you stuff like ah but you know we were still talking before you started seeing me and all of that and at the end of the day you will have yourself to blame so please avoid these kinds of men mr bitter these kinds of men whenever you bring up the conversation of also oh, what happened between you and your ex they tell you stuff like oh she was a bad person she was this she was that she was this she was that they say every bad thing about their ex but they never mention where they went wrong they never mention the good side 
of their ex they never mention the good side of their ex they just hammer on the bad thing that's what they keep on talking about and you know it leaves you wondering that oh it was so perfect or the girl did uh, did the girl did him dirty it was all her fault and all of that this kind of people they find it so difficult to move on because they have that hate for that ex which is still a kind of attachment between them or no unconsciously it is a kind of attachment because they carry that hate around when actually it is not hundred percent their ex's fault so avoid this kind of men now let's talk mr passive personally i do not like this kind of men i avoid them by all means imagine you're the one after, uh, you're the one that have to drag him to do things you have to um you have to bring up things you have to initiate things you have to be the initiative one you have to plan dates you have to i i i expect my man to be like a babe um dress up i'm going to take you out on a date by seven o'clock be ready that is the kind of man i like that is an active man but when my man leaves me to be the man in the relationship planning dates planning our future um taking making moves basically on behalf of both of us when a man leaves me dominant in the relationship now let's talk mr passive these kind of men are men that you basically have to drag along they do not make decisions they do not make moves they do not know how to make plans or, or, they, or it, sometimes it's not even they do not know how to they are just lazy doing it and they they leave it to you and that's basically leaving you to be the man in the relationship you have to be the one to plan dates you have to be the one to make moves you have to be the one to take decisions all the time please avoid this kind of men they are not going to take you anywhere then we have the mr flashy mr bling mr luxury this kind of men they 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 entice you they invite you with all kinds of flashy lifestyles all kinds of luxury and at the end of the day when you get with them you notice that their personality does not match what they show up front it's a kind of means that men it's a kind of means for men um, when they see that a girl is kind of above their level because let's not lie everybody have their own level so when they see a girl that is above their level they go oh how can they lure her how can they attract her so they they do those kind of things like they they they, they tend to pretend to be who they are not so it's best to avoid this kind of guys to avoid stories that touch in the nearest future then we have mr come on to strong oh my goodness this kind of man when you meet them and you start talking to them um getting to know each other and all of that in the space of one week they are already telling you things like oh they love you they don't think they can do without you marriage marriage wouldn't happen if you are not going to have love for the person you can respect the person you can enjoy talking to the person you can you can you can you, you can enjoy spending time with the person but the word the word love is actually a very big and heavy word to use as early as one week in that relationship so if a guy is telling you he loves you in one week my dear please avoid that kind of man because they come on too strong and they put you in a corner that you feel you feel maybe it is you that is not that is the problem like how can you feel love for me and i am not feeling love for him then you start questioning yourself avoid this kind of men they are no good mr unreliable oh my goodness we should women should totally avoid this kind of men you cannot be in a problem and you think oh let me call my man you cannot want somebody to talk to and be like oh I'll, I'll talk to my man first you cannot need advice on something your man should be the first person that comes to your mind maybe you need help around the house um, fixing a mechanical thing or something like that you cannot think your man isn't the first person coming to your head please avoid this kind of men they are of no good now let's talk mr inconsistent these people can be so tiring you know you have a man one minute is all over you texting you calling you wanting to spend time with you chatting with you sharing ideas with you 
and the next minute you cannot get a hold of him you can't talk to him he's giving you he's been absent basically he's been absent and then the next minute he's back again oh my goodness these people are emotionally manipulative because when you complain they go uh but they were there for you this this, this. so what happened to being consistent why are you starting with um an energy that you cannot maintain along the line that is very very emotionally manipulative and you keep questioning yourself maybe you're the one that wants too much or this person is actually not doing anything wrong you're the one thinking out of the bus when you should not you start questioning yourself which is so wrong let's let's talk guys with excessive baggages i'm talking both emotional and physical there are some guys that uh you're, to you're in the talking stage with them and obviously you want things to um go to the next level you want to you want it to become official date you want it to become you guys officially dating but they give excuses of their childhood trauma um a trauma from a past relationship when you are not the actual cause of their predicament but they tend to take it out on you and they tell you uh let's take this slow i i when while i was growing up i went through these i went through that i went through all of that you are not a therapist let them go and sort out their issues and you stay and glow you don't have to bother yourself about anybody don't let any man turn you into a therapist let him go let him go sort himself out and it will be back and if you're still available fine you guys will go ahead and you know take the relationship to the next level but a man using a childhood trauma a past relationship um problem to to judge the whole situation between you guys it's a no-no it's a red flag that most of us see but we still put our head inside that relationship and then we later complain then we have the mr emotionally unavailable i've mentioned something like this earlier but what i mean by mr emotionally unavailable is that these kinds of men they are not always able to express their emotions they bottle everything in and leave you wondering what is wrong what is happening you don't know when he's angry mind you you ask but they never tell you so they just leave you wondering you don't know when he is angry you don't know when he is sad you don't know when he is happy you don't know when he has something he's going through you don't know when he has something that is bothering him they just leave you in the dark they are on they are emotionally unavailable for you they are emotionally unavailable for you and they know that when, once they act like that it will make you want them the more which makes them very very manipulative so please avoid these kinds of men then we have mr my way or the highway meaning things that go my way or you get out of the relationship these kinds of men they are very very controlling they want everything to go their way without caring about the impact it's going to have on you how it's going to make you feel if you're in support they basically do not even ask for your opinion because they don't care and this are this this kind of men are usually very rich so the feel they have to make all of the decisions you just have to follow they want you to leave your whole life behind your career your family things you actually care about just to follow them behind this kind of man gives you no chance to make decisions in the relationship ladies please avoid this kind of men they will kill your dream they will kill you emotionally and if god is not on your side they might be very very physically abusive to you so please avoid these kinds of men now let's talk mr unsure mr he doesn't know what he wants these kinds of men they are they are they are they are perfect at procrastinating they are indecisive they do not know what they want they just go they 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 they, they, date, they date women for like six years five years seven years ten years and they don't put a date to when they are going to take things to the next step i will advise that as women we should not be afraid to ask of 
to ask for what we want we should not be able we should not be afraid to say our minds like okay i want us to for um for how long are we going to date for how long are we going to see each other before meeting each other's parents before taking the next step before you propose it, it, we should avoid men that see only now we should go for men that sees the future. We should go for men that plans the future together with us. We should go for men that are visionaries. We should go for men that take charges, that take charge of things. We should give our time to kings that know what they want, not somebody that just wants to waste all of our time. So that is a kind of man that we women should avoid. Next up, we have Mr. Low Self-Esteem. These kind of people, their self-esteem is right behind them, is dragging right behind them. And mind you, you do not have to be ugly or broke to have low self-esteem. Some very rich men have self-esteem and you know they kind they tend to be overprotective which we women mistake to be true love sometimes you know it tells us things like i don't want you to talk to this person i don't want you to be friends with this person i don't want you to do this i don't want you to go to this place i don't want you to you know there are just so many rules that this kind of men set for us. i don't want you talking on the phone from so 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 time to so 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 time you know that is just him projecting his insecurities to you but we women sometimes we see it as true love that this person truly cares for us but that is control um controlling traits but because of love we'll be so blind to it so as women we should avoid this kind of men last but not the least here i have mr let's go with the flow <laughs> these kinds of men are very very horrible they are manipulators they are users they will use you till there is nothing left in you for the next person these kinds of men when you start the relationship with them they will refuse to put a title to it and they'll ask you questions like am i not treating you right am i not there for you but you can't even call them your boyfriend or your fiance or anything they just want no title they just want you guys to go with the flow see how things go for as long as possible and mind you when those kinds of men want to find the girl the lady that they really love everything you ask of them that they refuse will not be a problem for them when they are actually with somebody they truly love but with you they will refuse to put a title to it they will not meet your family they won't even they are just like your friend that you're being intimate with nothing deep just all on the surface and this kind of guys will waste all of your time so avoid these kinds of guys that's the end of today's video please, if you love this that's the end of today's video if you love this content please give it a thumbs up and engage with me in the comment section if there are any type of guys that i left out please share with us in the comment section and feel free to subscribe to my channel it's free of course <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next one bye